Hi, I'm Jeremy Bumble, and this is my father. He was the greatest scientist I knew, and when he died, I made him a promise. I promised I'd teach the world everything that he taught me. Why? Because science is everything! Wow. Look at that crater. Some people say it's made of cheese. Others say that's ridiculous. The sun's radiation would melt it into the ocean and we'd be in the biggest, wettest fondue fest since Uncle Howard's Swiss cheese pool party in 1978. Lunatic. I, however, like to look at the facts. And to do this, we'll have to go back 4.6 billion years ago to when the Earth was in its infancy. Let me explain. <coughs> wow. The early solar system was a lot like my first driving lesson. Extremely dangerous and full of collisions. Who knew a dual carriageway was only one way? Not me. As it does now, the sun sat at the centre of our solar system. Huh? Space was filled with debris, flying around the sun in every direction. This debris smashed into each other until eventually a single orbital direction emerged. At the same time, gravity was pulling the debris together, coalescing to form planets. Stay still, I won't let anything happen to you. Boop. The solar system was still a violent place, and now with planets flying around. And one of those planets was the Earth. At some point, an object approximately the size of Mars Whoa. smashed into the newly formed Earth. Now, brace yourself, Stuart. This sent molten rock up into space, effectively lava. It had a ring of lava around planet Earth, and this coalesced to form the Moon. The Moon was then bombarded by asteroids, and at the time, there were many, many more. Stuart, you're the moon. When the moon was formed, it was a ball of molten lava in space. And slowly but surely, it cooled down. And it's collected lots of other dust. And the other dust we see on the surface is what we call the highlands, almost like a sprinkling of icing. When an asteroid comes and hits the moon, it penetrates through the highlands, through the light-coloured dust. It goes down to that sort of lava flow, that basalt below it. And we can see that dark surface. And that's why we have a speckledy moon. Oh yes, the moon truly is the Earth's best friend. It controls the ocean's tides and provides us with lights on long walks home from late night science lectures. So, thanks space debris and thanks the moon. Go science! Ooh. Ah. Butterfingers. Ah. In 1965, the co-founder of Intel, Gordon Moore, made a prediction that computing power would double every 18 months. So far, his prediction has been proven true. But how long can this trend continue? 